When the winds rush into the Hunza Valley in Pakistan, nobody dares to confront them. They gradually get stronger as they rage along the mountain border around the villages. This track is the only entrance to the valley, and it suffers new damage every day. Local road menders Karim and Shadid try to ensure it remains intact for the few brave individuals who dare to use it. These road menders have an immense job to do. Every day they have to start the previous day's work all over again. It may seem trivial, but their work saves lives. The piles of rubble gathered by the strong winds form traps on the edge of the road. The rubble heaps crumble under the weight of car tires, destabilizing vehicles in the direction of the ravine. Raymond has escaped the fatal dive dozens of times. His dexterity at the wheel has prevented him from falling 700 meters. It is hard to know how many lives this road has already taken, but the death toll contradicts the nickname given to the brave travelers of this valley, the Immortals. The Hunza Valley is located in the far northeast of Pakistan at the foot of the Himalayan mountains. It's one of the remotest regions in the country. The region is so rough and unstable, it looks like it's been carved with a machete. Even the most picturesque routes are not without danger. Some individuals are even reluctant to return to their villages. These vehicles are not the only ones walking the tightrope. Every day, these villagers also attempt to face their fears. The Hunza Valley makes their lives difficult but its almost non-existent access has protected them from the dangers of the outside world for centuries. An unshakable bond unites the men and women of this valley. Together they are one, fighting against life's challenges. Raymond travels on this road three times a week. But with this routine, there are two rules that he never breaks. Letting down his guard and exceeding 15 kilometers an hour. Good 
Fidoli, bir durdu ta. Tık tak ta. Hayat. Bir durdu ba. Adret ten saman getk. Adray vas ki tepet ya ta insan. Say sportsan i bezer ko vas kuj dimor vas. Ayem realizega ta ce, ayem zniva pes me tremizit. Do mas vas vizik me ki vizit ha. Ne vas ce vas. Garas palan. Do mas vas ce vas ki vizit. Stans <laughs> Uşu kost. This road may terrify the inhabitants of the Hunza Valley, but its existence has changed their lives. Before its construction 15 years ago, they lived in much harsher conditions. The inhabitants of the valley used to cross the mountain on the backs of yaks to take supplies back to the village. Two days of exhausting travel. On one such journey, while being tossed around on the back of his yak, a young Raymond began to dream. Come to the driving line thing. It's far a news and how this comes around. Love to enjoy sex around. Hard jays reaching. Far far a gear and business. Sky mother him feel the rough person. After six hours on the road for a distance of only 60 kilometers, every arrival is seen as a victory. Raymond likes to think that his skills as a driver are not the only thing keeping him alive. I am pesazin ka tene ka ki adremi shams bazar chizi astoni. Kasa koi zin net saren ka tremus ka tene chizi expo bide kiza mushkilar en. Or I am pesaz sa kremze ka tene mus skem road or health the sun kum the halgir is kuzurat pe ta sakse se mene bata de sir. Without mutual aid, life in this valley would be even more difficult. This solidarity has developed over centuries. Raymond's village, Shimshal, is an example of this. This stretch of grey land was nicknamed the village of the outcasts. The mountains surrounding it create a natural prison. In the previous century, the kingdom banished rebels and outcasts here. Little by little, the outcasts came together to create families. The spirit of fraternity still flows deeply within the veins of these individuals. Instead of waiting for help from the government, together they gathered their shovels and picks to open their valley to the world. A road yark was started with Hana, so your coffee time like a bit. Chizerki, coffee masailist of Sakto Tauhatem road, a lot wind, or Baki shred the spo, bechis, potatis, popupis, yarkak boss on Netogamishkil yarkto, or Hada yark zing with Kia, spoken community, Sumar Halgikti. 
یعنی تو خون که اگر صبر مردینه تو تو خون بکنی آل د سپا نان و سپا خوی بروش تی خنک که بالکل سعی سر چیزی که ماجرا تیم کرد که دوست پدیار هایم فیلد را نتو باید تو خالق است تو سکم از خد که کاربر بود یو سمت دیگر کاربری بیرون تیا آری قوم خدمتی به تی Raymond is going to be put under pressure in the coming days. A wedding is taking place in the village and he is in charge of driving several of the guests to it. 400 kilometers further south of the Hunza Valley lies Gilgit, the largest town in the region. Electrical appliances, stereo systems, car parts, Everything that China produces passes through here. This transportation haven attracts all of the drivers in the country. During winter, bad weather conditions occasionally obstruct the border. Because of this, the drivers sometimes wait several weeks before finding enough cargo to transport. Imran and his nephew have not started their truck in more than 10 days. Imran has his own truck. When he does not drive it, he cannot earn even a single rupee. I don't have with no money coming in, the cabin of his truck serves as a hotel room, even if the thermometer is teetering on minus 15 degrees. At 52 years old, Imran has had enough of this lifestyle. Soon he will pass the baton to his apprentice. Finally, their journey begins. Imran and his nephew have found a cargo of milk to take to the Chinese border. There is no cause for celebration, though, as they will earn just enough to cover the fuel costs and a meager meal. The road is smooth. The Chinese have covered it with asphalt to facilitate exchanges between the two countries. The journey seems without risk, but drivers must remain alert and not allow themselves to be lulled by this tar snake. The <laughs> ऊपर से पत्थर एक आ जाए फिर हम रुक भी जाते हैं कोई ऐसी जगह आती है जिधर से फिर निकलते हैं दस्ती फिर तो खड़ा होना जो है वो बहुत मुश्किल है बहुत नुकसान दे हैं पत्थर नहीं आए एक दफा पत्थर आया था हमारी गाड़ी पर ऊपर लगा था छत पर हम नीचे से भाग गया था उस वक्त से इंशाल्लाह को जरसे बाद तू आप आसे जासे बिल्कुल तुम खुद चलाओगे गाड़ी इधर
रेवन्यू में बस यही घूमना फिरना है ये पहाड़ जंगल दरखत दरिया बस ये अल्लाह पाक का सीन मंजर है ना एक बस ये देख रहे हैं बस खुश हो जाते हैं और हमारा जिंदगी भी जो है वो 25-26 साल से ड्राइवरी कर रहे हैं बस आजाद जिंदगी और पबान वाला काम भी नहीं कर सकते हैं शबनम के कतरों को कब देखती हैं दुनिया ये लोग तो हंसते हुए शेरों का नजारा करते हैं In this region of Pakistan, the vibrantly coloured trucks brighten up the mountain scapes. To find lively cities, you have to look further afield. The town of Sost, where Imran is taking his cargo of milk, looks more like a shanty town. Imran and his nephew have just earned two euros, and the negotiations are not over yet. The weather has deteriorated even more at the border, and the poor conditions are preventing any exchange with China. So, बस इधर से हमारा इन्शाल्लाह काम खत्म हो गया। अभी इधर से वापसी में कुमाल नहीं है, बाड़र भी बंद है। और बकाया कुछ भी नहीं बस इस तरह खाली हम वापस गिलगित जाएंगे फिर इंशाल्लाह लोड लेकर वापस आएंगे तो इधर से ये जो माल लाया है वो छोटी छोटी गाड़ियां लेकर चलिए जाएंगी बस बड़ी गाड़ी ऊपर नहीं जा सकती है रास्ता ब्लॉक है दाए में खले रंज के The minibuses also take risks they don't travel every day so at every departure the vehicle is filled to the brim The final moment of rest is used to gather all of their courage. Horia really needs it now. This student only sees her parents every four years, and at every departure, she's filled with the same overwhelming anxiety upon leaving. شک تو همیشه تی چیزه تی تری کی جوکو فامیلی نگفتش خالق اکسیدنت بید بس کن خدای تو مدت سر چیز کیا کرده سخت و ایش نه بس از اور چیلانا ایم بیش نگان بس دیگه بزرگ چیز کی بود نه دا بارک باران وایش دی نیم کاو نیم سرگو کریم تو باس کار Shabash, <laughs> <laughs> His minibus is no longer in its prime, but Mohammed is counting on it to transport the goods over more than 3,000 meters and to stay on course over the snowy roads. Looking at the poor state of the roads in this region, it's sometimes hard to believe that Pakistan is still a great economic and nuclear power. Tank. 
आज बिर साल चुनिस जेंग तो के जाक कुशुक वेता और काम जाए Once the vehicle reaches an altitude of 2,500 meters, all of the passengers are silent for fear of their lives. They do not want to distract the driver. The problems begin here too. Mohammed tries to anticipate them. The <laughs> Mohammed winds his passengers up even more by telling them stories about the countless accidents that have occurred on this road. Person and Hun, ye gadi, tractor, the load and kti, yo gird the reben, drawer and kti, regda. Was I am a reist and sir, them person is cooked and Hatarna Keria Amist. Was if you mom Madadrant Ki Hulk, Nick Bartigmas rest Rajainist, a tumor the horse was. As the journey gradually progresses, Mohammed seems less vigilant, perhaps due to the fatigue. We decide to get out of the minibus to finish our journey in the vehicle where we keep our equipment. The distance between us and the minibus increases. until we lose sight of it completely.
Half an hour later, we find it turned over in the middle of the road. No one is hurt, but they're all startled and ask us to stop filming. The following day, we talk to Mohammed about it. Bus, I to normally drive karata. Waham pe jaga kuch aisa tha. Usi ki wajh se gadi achanak disbalance ho ke ek dam dewar ke saath gaya. Baaki side pe to ye kati ho gaya. Ye ye iske और ये पीछे से लेकर उधर तक ये गाड़ी पूरा डिमेज हो गया ये इधर से लेकर यहाँ और ये शीशा भी टूट गया बस ये एक एक ही गाड़ी था इसके सहारा मैं अपने ज़िंदगी यहाँ तक लाया था अभी ये भी डिमेज हो गया अभी कोई तो इसके साथ बैठने को तैयार नहीं है जब तक इसको मैं नहीं बनाऊँ अगर मैं नहीं बना सकता हूँ तो बस मेरे बच्चों का तालीम वो भी रह जाएगा खुदा ना खासा कोई बीमारी आ गया तो वो भी मुझे बहुत मसला होगा Muhammad is going to try to forget his troubles for a few hours. It's the day of the great gathering, or rather the great clash. The men from this village are going to compete against the men from the neighboring village. तो इसके लिए खास किस्म का गोड़ा होता है क्योंकि अच्छे गोड़ा से जो है ना बंदे का नाम निकलता है और बुजकशी के लिए एक गोड़ा जो मजबूत होनी चाहिए Deep within Muhammad lies the spirit of a warrior. It comes from his ancestors. The inhabitants of this village are the descendants of three of the soldiers from the army of Alexander the Great. The Hunza horsemen and their bows were feared throughout the region, and Hunza can be translated as arrow. Yeah. <laughs> These lofty horsemen call themselves the Chapandas. I am In the past, the game was much more violent. Legend states that in the time of Genghis Khan, the horsemen would compete using the bodies of their enemies. Today, there is still a body on the playing field, but it's no longer that of the enemy. It's been replaced by a goat's carcass. <laughs> I am ruling that some jo hayo winner. To ye me pting was kda shuru nu psak yash be garam kha kistan ab khali time psak zing chauban. To last pting was ki last psak em check yun dona ra khyan pa yash to isra rechen san kum dia wasom dream. Ye ekbal jo an kadi ta black sarta. Kud vai sa trav kirega yano sa kum de ki yut kyo nei.
<laughs> Buzkashi is above all a game about honour. The horsemen win the right to boast about who is the strongest during gatherings at the village. Between them, there are no cheap shots. The men often choose this moment to settle any old rivalries. <laughs> this game is a rare moment of fun. The lives of the inhabitants of the Hunza Valley normally only revolve around taking care of the land. In this isolated valley, the women work just as hard as the men. They even have an equal status to them, at least according to the men. The women have a different opinion. Each bundle weighs between 20 and 30 kilograms. Their village is an hour and a half's walk away. It's a tiring journey over the rocks. At the end of the day, they all share the same dream. It takes them five hours just to get to and from the village.
Today marked a collective effort. The grass collected by these individuals will be used to feed this woman's livestock. She was too weak to journey with them. Once more, the solidarity of the Hunza Valley has come into play. <laughs> Contrary to other regions of Pakistan, these women are Ismailian. It is a less rigorous branch of Islam. <laughs> On the other side of the Hunza Valley lies the town of Aliabad. It is here that we meet Raymond again. He's one of the rare drivers who risks travelling on the dangerous road that leads to the village of Shimshal. He's in charge of transporting the witnesses of a marriage ceremony over the top of the mountain, but not everyone is convinced he can do it. So I was like a special invitation to the wood to go to it and tax so spoke that to Allah. Certain zones in Pakistan are unstable because the Taliban still constitutes a huge threat. To avoid allowing them to gain any more ground, the police have installed several control posts along this route, especially on the road leading to the Chinese border. The Karakoram is a vital economic cordon for the country. Nothing should ever slow down the circulation of goods. The travellers are stopped several times. The stops lengthen the journey considerably, but this time luck is on Raymond's side. There are no traffic jams. There are no seats left in the vehicle, but Raymond still has to pick up three of the wedding guests. Three of the guests will have to test their muscles if they want to arrive at their destination in one piece. So, Atif, you are dreaming, Nest, or Demet, you are drunk. Take it, na, or what? Nest, it's come tired, Nest, na. What are you doing? Ah, Nest, sir, you are what are you doing? You are doing what? Ah, Shabash, Shabash, you are dreaming, sir. Has come to the late, sir. Ah, Shabash, you are what are you doing?
کسای سر که اشک تو زن کی انسان تزکلای چیز دست بیست مرغات سلوب چیز دست بیست آشن شان نور زن که سر که اشک تو قدم با قدم After nightfall, the faulty headlights have trouble piercing through the darkness enshrouding the road. Ah, uh, there's Five hours later, after having risked traveling through the night, the brave passengers are welcomed to the village. The wedding can begin. The inhabitants of the Hunza Valley are known as the Immortals, in this region, the residents seem to avoid all illnesses and there are more centenarians here than anywhere else in the world. Doctors have attributed this extraordinary longevity to their diets, composed mainly of fruit as well as the mineral richness of their water. However, this fragile balance has been challenged ever since the inhabitants opened their valley to the rest of the world 15 years ago. Certain sicknesses, hitherto unknown to the residents, have started infiltrating the area. But their food habits are not the only reason for their excellent health. Above all, their harmonious style of living and the endurance that they have had to develop to live in these mountains are key to their survival. Mm -hmm. 